sorry. We're going to Mount Everest, but in South Africa, driving for the Everest. Everest in the Everest. <laughs> Ford has called me and invited me to meet them on the other side of the globe to go on a trip of a lifetime in South Africa. Without even a second thought, I got my passport, zipped up my bag, grabbed my apprentice and got to the closest international airport and said goodbye to Australia. Are you here with Ford? Yep, everyone follow me. Yeah. Actually, in Africa. It was such a long flight. It was really nice, like horizontal. Dach, which is electricity day. Do your own thing. And Bridget just gobsmacked that I can read the billboards in South Africa. I hear her speak to her mom in Afrikaans a lot, but to see her read things. Nasty, you seeing what I'm seeing? We're gonna be those people that vlog in the hotel, but we don't really care. This is the coolest welcoming. So nice. I really thought that Nas and I would have had the same room. I know, we literally have separate rooms. But this is great. <gasps> it's so cute. This is, look at this little, look at this. This is so this is like, very African it's safari definitely adventure. given African safari. This, not so much. Oh, we've well, officially arrived. It's really starting to kick in now that we're in South Africa. So Nasa's nice. memory has already started to kick back in. She's been reading signs. That says generators in English. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit role reversal for me because normally I know what's going on. I recognize things, yeah. but this has been really cool because it's very much like, it's weird. I'm though. just like this, like, I know. Our official adventure doesn't actually begin until tomorrow. I think what they've made it really clear to us is that they just want our body clocks to be right, our energy levels to be right, because I think it gets pretty extreme. We'll see how far Ford really turns <laughs> this on. You'd assume they would, but I'm someone, I have high expectations. Always. I'm Hard get, to impress. They've already taken me to the other side of the world, so mm -hmm. let's see how far they we really push this. Mm. Dream. Agreed. <laughs> Next bump in. I know, it's day two. We've We're officially the... made it to the Vonnebloem Airport. Domestic um, airport, domestic just for airport. everyone else that's Australian <laughs> probably watching this that doesn't know what that means. I know. We're just going to our next check-in point, which is where we will be setting ourselves up to be able to do all of the driving, all the mm -hmm. safaris, all the helicopters, all the, the things like that to get like the bulk of the content of what we're doing. So it's time to move from checkpoint to checkpoint yeah. in these tiny little planes. Sam and I were just discussing like YouTube's paying pretty good, so like we just purchased one. Hey, how are you? Correct. I'm gonna film her, film me going up these stairs. Oh my gosh, <gasps> we almost just died in there, Holly. Oh my god. We just got here. We just got here. Bang. Giraffe. I, why is it so zoomed? It's zoomed because it's so serious. I feel like South Africa just announced itself to us. Yeah. South Africa just went, here we go. We were in South Africa, but now South Africa's in us. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? My god. This place is insane. got to the lodge and it was like a 30 minute drive to get here and we saw what we saw impalas, giraffes and zebras and it's not even safari part of it. Like we literally just drove here and we saw all these animals. Cheers. Cheers to being in Africa. To the fact that we're alive. What's going on guys? Welcome to African Vlog with Sam. Today's episode we are going to go and climb a giraffe and ride, ride it. it. <laughs> <laughs> The YouTuber's in the YouTuber car. And now we're just on the hunt for some more animals, really, and just using the cars. Okay, I have an 
idea. Yeah, what is that? So I'm trying to, I want to put the car up on this little ledge. Yeah. So it looks really like a hero shot. Yeah. And there's like this big lake behind us where like, it looks, it's so authentic. We're like in the, it literally like, yeah, we're in the sticks. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. It looks like, if you look at it, you'd just be able to see that we're in South Africa. Yes. All right, everyone, meet Jan. Hi, Jan. <laughs> Hello. Jan's the one with the big camera. And we've given him the debrief on what we want to get. I'm going to see if it's possible. So I put the car in like that hero shot sort of way. I feel like what would look really cool is if we get like down low shot of our feet walking up to it. There's like a bit of dust. You know what I mean? It's like it's like initiating like the epicness of the car coming into the story. Does that Just make naturally sense? Done. Naturally yeah, done. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can do okay, that. perfect. All right, let's go. <laughs> we'll go car standalone and then Nas and I are going to walk and we're going to enter in. Right. Like yeah, that. that's it. Yes. Okay, do you want to try it? Let's do it. Can we do it one more time? Yeah, yeah. We're just gonna be a bit more exaggerated with our feet so that there's a bit of dust. Nice. Done. <laughs> yes. Nice, we're grabbing our seatbelts and putting our seatbelts on. Mm -hmm. Lovely. And then I think that'll close the moment. Okay, ready ladies and action. I, I stuffed it up. Start again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, did I grab this? <laughs> Three, two, one, action. Did that work? Yeah, he said perfection. Okay, let's get out. Let's watch. Let's watch. Let's watch. Yep. Oh, my gosh, so genuine. Look at us, so serious face. So serious. I think that worked. I hope it did, hey. I feel like our image that we imagined came to life. Yeah, yeah, no. I, but you know, I really felt it. It really 100%. felt like it was right. Now, we're yeah. off. Also, we're not alone this whole time. Plot twist, Sam's in the car. Da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're back on the sands. The goal here is to not get bogged. Not get People bogged. have Stay gotten bogged. On the tracks. What if we hook up a snatch strap to an elephanty wanty <laughs> <laughs> We wouldn't want the, f the full, the professional full drivers in the convoy to be the ones that get bogged. We would be the ones that everyone's got the highest expectation of. Oh, 100%. Sure. It's embarrassing. The concentration. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Oh. It's all right. She's a full driver. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> we are here with a fair few journalists. We are just the rogue YouTubers that they've decided to invite to South Africa. Risky move. Which is wild. Um, and also, actually, this is the first time I've just driven it, but... The sand mode's pretty nice. Mm. I'm sensationally comfortable. None of my cars are this comfortable, which I is... I know. Do you actually want to know what giraffe is in Afrikaans? Yeah. It's a camel bat, which is directly translated camel horse. Ex I know. Uh, ex it's take it one step further. What is an elephant? Really fun. What is a zebra? Zebra. <laughs> what is a deer? Book. And what is... I'm still processing camel horse. <laughs> I'm going wheeling. I'm going wheeling, boys. Uh, all right, nice. Nah, so I've just put this car in into the mud and ruts mode. Rojo car up next. Front camera makes life very easy. Yeah, because if you can't see your line, I can't see, all I'm seeing is sky. Yeah. But I know exactly what's in front of me. And look, I'm going to be honest, I don't live my life going, God, I would love a front camera. But because I'm like super short and usually can't see over bonnets, I have to like go off memory. But no, you can use less brain cells and just look at that. The cheat code on where was the right and am I close to it? Um, we just gotten back to the lodge and we're about to see our room for the first time. Holy! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm nervous. I'm nervous about how overwhelmed I'm about to be. Get oh my God. out! <laughs> insane, insane. You can walk all the way right through. Insane, 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 insane. Insane. Like it just, just like it. <sighs> but wait. Behind here, there are some curtains. And if you open said curtains, don't get upset. There's not a crazy view, but it's not about the view. It's about the fact that it is open to the reserve and animals. Ford have outdone themselves. 
Yeah, Ford has outdone themselves. <laughs> Ford is trying their absolute hardest. They said, let's see if we can get these two Toyota girls to just like break the Bible that they've made for themselves that Toyota is the best and consider that Ford might be better. <laughs> take the car for him to a bit of a river crossing and now it's gonna be a good moment for me to play with these modes so what have we got here towing slippery slippery could be an option mud and ruts or sand maybe mud and ruts I think I want a bit of mud and ruts I know that we're doing a river crossing and then I want to put her into Fort low Maybe four low is probably a bit extra. Oh yeah, four low. It does come with a factory diff lock and literally just a button on the screen. I want to drive it like a girl in a 30s or in a 40s, you know, family in the car, doesn't really know a whole lot of what they're doing. And then the car just assists the whole way through it. I'm pretty off camber right now. Wow, the, the rear suspension, the panard, the stability at the back is very futuristic. That was extremely secure and I, I kind of put it into a hard spot. I'm gonna be completely honest. Um, I'm really not making it easy on the car. So I'm like, I'm a bit stupid, a bit of an idiot, right? But I'm gonna have a go and see if I can get bogged. So far so good. I went to take off and it was a neutral, so that was a very great start. All right, I'm on full lock left hand down. Now uh, this front camera's doing me a lot of favors because I can't see the ground in front of me. Wow, it's got a lot, a lot of slip control. I'm in the river crossing now. Oh, that was a Perfect, nice and straight. Now, how does it come out? Oh, that was very easy. It was slippery on the way in. I mean, gravity fed, obviously. Uh, and it was definitely slippery on the way out and a little bit, a little bit ripped up. I'm surprised that it kept so much traction. The LSD did a really good job of figuring it out. I like went to take off and I, and it was still in neutral. I, I, I heard. Like, oh God. I heard. I <laughs> did say to Nas, I was like, drive it as if you've never been full driving before. And then she took off in neutral. So <laughs> she definitely fulfilled the mission. 100%. Mm. When you do a lap, you spend a frustrating amount of hours in the yeah, car. Yeah, it's literally like your new home. If you're going to spend that many hours inside a car, you want, you want the car that's this yeah, comfortable, comfortable on the inside. And so reliable too. Yeah, super, super, super comfortable, heap spacious, every single seat's comfy, mm -hmm. the heating, the sound system, the cameras, <laughs> everything in it is, it's giving five-star hotel on the inside. 100%. Is this a good car to have to operate and do a lap, go wheeling out of? So I'm just challenging what it would be like from the perspective of someone that's got to buy this mm -hmm. and then drive it in circumstances like this and in that case it's ticking the boxes so far especially with like if you want if you know how people buy a car and they add all these mods and spend so much money to put the diff lock and all these cameras and all these comfortable things in it whereas you can just buy this stock and it has all of it in it already you don't mm -hmm. have to spend all the extra research and money and stuff to put it in it just has it in it <laughs> yeah it just has it in it and if it has it in it it's supposed to perform just as good as if mm -hmm. you were meant to go do those modifications yourself so I'm trying to see because this car is near 100 grand so so far so good but I'm fussy and I'm gonna keep trying <laughs> to you know I'm probably annoying Ford with the way that I'm driving it then being like no make the car look good make the car look yeah. easy especially in front of the journalists but I'm like we're here for the red dirt yeah we're here for I want to see if the car will drive good for the red yeah. dirt from what I can see and feel of this car so far it's pretty impressive. For me to be able to give this car my tick of approval, I really want to find some more true off-road circumstances to really challenge the vehicle. I'm thinking Shaley rocks in a few wheel lifts. I find myself wanting to keep my eyes down on that front camera. This camera is like a spotter. The fact that I can see what's literally happening underneath the car and my wheel placement is actually kind of sick. I feel like I'm just gonna try to get a wheel lift up here. Do you know it would be like kind of funny and like kind of cool? Even though it's not extreme, if we like just really ramped it up as if like something epic was about to go down and then we just like press the screen in, 
color graded it really dark and then just went right into like slow-mo wheeling of what we're all the articulation I wonder if even with the the amateur grade wheeling that we're doing if with the power and skill set that red dirt does have editing that we could actually make it look like an ad it all comes down to how good is Nas on the camera and that's truly the concerning part Welcome back. Welcome Same back. day, different car. Mm -hmm. We've upgraded to the Platinum. And it is absolutely Platinum. It is 184 kilowatts, 600 Newton meters, turbo diesel V6, heated seats, leather interior, lush. Sunroof. Mm. That's all That's I've got. She's, <laughs> she's memorized the whole brochure and I've got sunroof. Yeah, so they've basically now put us into the, you know, the luxe version of what we had. Yeah, I mean, face value. It's great. It's, it's comfy. It's pretty nice. Now, first things first, it's cold. Let's get these heated seats going. Party mode activated. How good is the sunroof? I wish I had one. I know you can't tell, but that is the edge of a cliff. What Nash just filmed at that window is the edge of a mountain. A monstrous mountain. We're yeah. 2,000 meters. Above sea level right now. And yeah. We can't even, you can't even see the edge of the mountain. There's like cars five meters ahead of us and we can't see it. We're in the cloud line and it's like a storm's about to pop off because the speed of the clouds rushing past us. Like I know yeah. we're high up, but you it's You can actually see the clouds like moving. Let's just prove a point for a second. Nash and I are both going to drop our windows. Look at that. There's <laughs> clouds coming through the car. Oh, You're gonna hate God. this, right? I know exactly what you're gonna NASA's gonna have to get out and film. Oh my God. I'm so sorry, bro. Are you? Are you? I don't feel like you Quick, are. before Ford gets oh. mad. <laughs> Let me in. Yeah, get in. <laughs> oh my God. That was a good time to plug the heated seats. Full blast. Now that I'm starting to run out of South African terrain to test the Ford Everest, I think my Everest adventure might be coming to an end. But it can't go without being said what an epic adventure this South African trip was, let alone seeing it through the eyes of Ford. But hey, I've said it before and I'll say it again, it is all thanks to you guys who support the Red Dirt Diary channel, which allows us to take our adventures to new and international heights. Well, good morning. I am up the earliest I've been up this whole week. It is currently just before six o'clock in the morning and we're gonna go on a safari. So, so, so excited. We're gonna have some coffee and stuff just before the safari leaves. And then it goes to about an hour or two and then we get to experience all the animals closer. I never thought I'd come back to South Africa, but the only reason I would come back is to see the animals and stay in like a private lodge and do all the nice things and stuff. And I've been so grateful to have this opportunity to do it again. Like it just means, like it just holds a special place in my heart, you know? So I'm so excited to be here. I'm <laughs> crying. I'm just so excited to be here and see all those animals again because they mean so much to me. You know? Like it just takes me back to when I was a kid in South Africa. <laughs> so I'm so excited to capture those moments for you today to show you how special it is. <laughs> I'm like happy crying. <laughs> sad to be at this point in the episode but you know what's happening it is the end it's before the bloopers it's between the bloopers and the official end but this is the end what an adventure this was i know this is absolutely insane i'm so grateful for everything that's happened i couldn't have imagined a better week it's unreal unreal I'm i know so so happy i know and what an opportunity to be a part of the ford everest coming to market and seeing all of the new upgrades and things that they've done Ford, thank you so much for having us yes and guys you. you need to subscribe <laughs> because you never know what adventure ford might take us on next time Everest Adventure was great. Hopefully there's another one coming. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, guys. See ya. Bye. Okay, bye. Well, where do I even begin? So the other day, I got a call from Ford and they asked me to go to South Africa with them. But the thing is, you guys may not know this, but Nas, the apprentice, is from South Africa. She's born and raised there and she moved away when she was about nine years old. And she's never been able to financially go back. And now I can't think of a better person for the job than the apprentice herself. She speaks the language, she knows the place, she's literally perfect for the job. And it just wouldn't feel right if I went without her. So I sold some things, I saved up some money, I stressed myself out, but the whole thing was worth it. And I bought Nas an aeroplane ticket. And she's gonna come with me, but she doesn't know. We leave in like two weeks. <laughs> Why is my heart pounding? What are you doing, bro? This time on Red Dead Diary, I take Nas to South Africa. No, you don't. Why the f we going to South Africa? Why? What? <laughs> so how does Ford even know you? <laughs> well, we've come to the end, unfortunately, sadly. Hang on, let me. Oh, I had a weird face okay. the whole time. This time on Red Dead Diary, we take on Mount Everest in the Ford Everest, but in South Africa with the Afrikaans girl. <laughs> and the Italian. Hi, Crooks. Hi, Mom. We're going to go. Good morning. Good morning. In 14 days, we're going to South Africa to meet Ford. Nia! Yeah! Nia! Bye! 5.30, wake up. What the hell? Nia, my skirt! Meet Ford! Meet Ford! I'm so, so excited! <laughs> Because I'm like, I would have driven this road like probably a hundred times, but I don't remember it. But I, I know I live like five minutes from here. And where we're staying now, like, is a big shopping center where I used to go when I was younger and do like ice skating and stuff. Mm. But it was 18 years ago, so it's probably not there anymore. But yeah, it's so weird. What's going on, Red Dirt Diary family? <laughs> the girls have left me with their camera in Wonderboo Airport. This may never make it out. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure you subscribe to the girls, they're doing God's work. Uh, and we'll see you on the next installment of Red Dirt. Well done, my girl. It's a social opportunity. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's nuts. It's going for you. I don't know. Can I get a culture shock? Yes. Totally unexpected. Yes. Yeah, you can use your honest but I won't go with me. Yeah. Cool failed. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep crying. I woke up this morning and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> like, I'm still shaking. Oh, nuts. <laughs>